More military now. For the first time in over a year, top military brass from the U.S. and China hold virtual talks. But tensions extremely high, as President Xi reportedly warned President Biden last month that China and Taiwan will reunify, as if we can't do anything about it. Here to react, Fox News senior strategic analyst, retired four-star General Jack Keane. General, this is major news that is beginning to leak out of that San Francisco summit. Yes, yeah, certainly. Both sides sort of accomplished what they wanted, the relaxation of tensions, and certainly uh, mill-to-mill talk is, is part of that. But what is coming out, and my sources support it as well, is a rather profound and unprecedented message by President Xi to President Biden. And it had to do with the fact that the onus is on the United States if they want to avoid war over Taiwan. And President, President Xi told uh, President Biden in some very direct language that the, the reality for him is that reunification with Taiwan is more important than maintaining the regional peace. And he expects the United States, if they want to avoid war, to support him in his peaceful reunification efforts. So he, I think, has taken a measure of the president similar to what Putin has done and similar to what the mullahs in Iran have done. And they see vulnerability here and an ability also to take advantage of that vulnerability. And they also see in the United States a lack, a declining political will in the United States. And that is why our adversaries are more aggressive, Brian. We see it with President Xi, we see it with Putin and his right. invasion, we see it in Iran and his proxies in the Middle East. The reality is right in front of us. We've got to see the danger and wake up and start dealing with these adversaries. General, if uh, play this out, uh, China knows our political system well. They see how uh, uh, President Biden is struggling in the polls. They know what could very well be next. How do they take that into account? How do they react knowing that President Biden might only have a year left? Well, certainly they're, they, you're right. They know our political system. They're very, very tuned into it. Uh, they watch it. I think they tried to undermine the United States by taking advantage of uh, lack of political and social cohesion in the United States. Anytime something bad happens, their information operation plugs in to undermine the people's confidence in its government. This is, this is what they're all about. There's also an election coming in Taiwan in January. Right now, the incumbent party. Uh, is ahead by seven points. That's the party, the DPP, that has stood up to mainland China under President Tsai's leadership, and her eight-year reign is, is ending. Her vice president is running for that office. If they are elected and they, and they continue to take a strong stand, I think President Xi has a decision to make. Is he going to take action in the next few years uh, over Taiwan? Many believe that is truly the case. And they know full well that our military isn't what it used to be, Brian. And are we the most powerful military in the world? Yes. But we get within a thousand miles of mainland China, the advantage swings to the Chinese. And that's the harsh reality of it. You're not, likely not going to get a public statement from anybody in the military about something like that. But that's the truth of it. Right. And we got to get make sure Taiwan, at the very least, can defend itself. And uh, the stuff that they have paid for has not arrived. And we got to find a way. Uh, to let them fight and make the Chinese think that it's going to be a lot more difficult uh, than it does, than it actually, uh, than, they, than they had hoped. General, thanks so much. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.